the memories of what happened that day are everywhere. We had just finished putting the sandbags around our house and bringing in all the plants. It was time for us to go and I gave my mom a hug and we told each other that we loved each other. She had a German Shepherd and a pot-bellied pig and she had no way to evacuate them, much less anywhere to take them. And so she decided to stay at her house. When the winds started getting, started getting really bad on Monday, my brother-in-law was on the cell phone with my mom and she said that the water was coming up and she had decided she was gonna go ahead and try to put the dog in the car and get out and go to a friend's house and the phone cut off, they lost cell reception, and that was the last we ever heard from my mom. Three days after the storm, we were able to drive back down through Waveland. We thought that it would be pretty easy to find uh, where my mom's house was, because there was a, a tree that had been bricked in around the tree, and that was in the middle of the street. Everything kind of smelled, you know, from being wet for three days but we got to the point where we smelled something different. Um, three different times we smelled what we thought was probably the smell of, of death. Thought it was a pretty good coincidence that it happened three times and there was my mom and her two pets. After six weeks of being in limbo and searching for her. Um, they found her right where we had smelled those smells. It was kind of a relief to be able to stop searching, but it started a whole new kind of suffering because now we could miss my mom and uh, that never goes away.